Hey guys, it's Evan the Cat King here with another video. Today we are doing another What If Total Drama video. Today we are doing What If Harold Didn't Quit in Total Drama World Tour. You may not know this, but if um in Total Drama World Tour, um Harold quit in the in the I th it was the third episode. Super happy crazy fun time Japan. He it, he wouldn't have been eliminated. He he would he just decided you know what, I, I quit. I, I want to do the honorable samurai thing. But yeah, um... <laughs> but in this, uh, what if uh, we're just exploring what what happened if Harold didn't do that. So we obviously have to start with super happy, crazy, fun time, Japan. This episode will change in the end. And uh, because Harold won't interrupt Chris and just take his barf bag. Harold will not quit. Instead... That means DJ will be sent home here because he literally said, he was literally saying that the last one went to Harold when it was down to him and DJ. So, DJ is out right off the bat here. Get rid of the stupid animal curse. Um, <laughs> storyline. Anything you can, you can do, I can do better. Now here we have uh, the same outcome as before because Bridget gets stuck to a pole and causes the loss. Now Bridget will still get voted out here because of this. Bridget gets... Still gets a screwed, gets manipulated by Alejandro and gets stuck to a pole, causing the elimination. Broadway baby is not important. <clears throat> um, we gotta just skip forward to slap slap revolution. Harold won't change the outcome of this challenge because he will uh, get beat by Sierra right away. Then Lashana will still jump off and slap the crap out of Heather. Now the elimination. Now for the elimination, and Harold is not gonna vote out Lashana. He's not gonna do that. He he's he's not gonna be an idiot. He he's 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 voted out Lashana in the past, but he he was tricked into doing it. At this point, he, there's he's not voting out Lashana. He's gonna vote out Lindsay here, and Lindsay gets sent home. That's <laughs> can't help falling in love. <laughs> We're skipping the Amazon race because that's another non-elimination round. This challenge, I think, will change in outcome because in the original, Lindsay would have won by herself. I think that Lashana and Harold will be good working together and can either win or come second. This uh, means that Team Chris is going to vote someone off. This is where Tyler will get voted out because I think that Owen, Noah, and Izzy vote together. They've got a strong little alliance built up right here, and now Tyler gets sent home. Not to the chagrin of uh, Alejandro. Plus, Tyler's just been sad for the past couple of episodes because Lindsay's gone. Um, Jamaica me sweat. Uh, yeah. We start uh, this with saying that Izzy and Owen getting hurt, and Izzy leaves the competition. So Izzy will, because Izzy's getting medically evacuated. Now, I think that Harold and Lashana will once again exceed because uh, he won't have a, a. Because Alejandro won't have a leverage over them like he did on DJ and trick them so this is so i don't think alejandro will be able to trick them and screw with them i think harold and lashana are smart enough to get past that and they'll actually either win or come second place here and that means that team amazon will lose the challenge and cody will convince everybody get rid of sierra and sierra is out before the merge even happens this time around now we gotta get to a I see London. This the question of this episode is Can Harold I have it written down in my notes Van Harold and Lashana. Can Harold and Lashana be can they beat Owen and Noah? Now I think that Owen and Noah will succeed because they do in the original. After this we have um, I, I think that they, they're they gonna be able to to do it this in, just like in the original, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think that, that, I think that Team Amazon, Amazon's uh, getting Duncan, Team Chris is getting Ezekiel, or Jack the Ripper, or whatever. But yeah, and then in the end here, Duncan is gonna be added to Team Victory, 
because he is because uh, they have the least amount of people. I'm pretty sure that that's how it would go here because I feel like they're just going to add him to wh whichever team has the least amount of people. And also now uh, when it comes and now and they lose, so they have to vote someone out, but they can't vote out Duncan. So at this point, Duncan just kind of gets to choose who goes home. And sorry, but he's he's picking Harold. He's picking Harold. I just maybe maybe he might have like I don't know. Grease's pieces. Um, I have a whole episode written down for it. Um, but like, like we have a, the like um. This one was the thing where, like, the whole uh, kiss between Gwen and Courtney was revealed. But like, with Tyler not being here, I don't see it being revealed. I think that. Alejandro might catch on a bit, but I don't think that he'll he'll he might use it to his advantage later down the line to get I don't know. <laughs> now, okay, so the X Files now Team Chris will lose this challenge because there's nobody to save them, save now Noah and Alejandro from the aliens. Duncan might help them for an alliance once merge happens, or for Alejandro to keep his mouth shut about the kiss. But the alien gets destroyed anyway, and Team Chris will lose the challenge. Now, I think Alejandro will screw with Owen and convince him to vote out Noah instead of Alejandro himself. Owen is easily persuaded through food and lies. I think that um, Alejandro will be able to screw with Owen's head and get cause Noah to be eliminated, sadly. Picnic at Hanging Dark. I believe that this episode... Um, is uh, gonna have Gwen having a main mission of telling Courtney that Duncan and her kissed. I think that Gwen, after a few episodes, will have come to her, her like, uh, realized, yeah, she should probably tell Courtney about it. Try if, if there's anything that it would save her friendship with, she wants to stay friends with Courtney, and while, yes, hiding the fact uh, that it happened could save it, She's got to admit it eventually. I mean, Courtney could just watch the show and then <laughs> get pissed off anyways. But either way, I think that Gwen is going to be spending this episode trying to tell Courtney about what happened. Um, this, and then this will result in a stupid running gag of things constantly screwing it, things up until the challenge is over. And then our back and then back on the plane... However, they will have immunity, and Duncan will be facing a tiebreaker against Lashana to see who goes home. Now, Duncan manages to beat Lashana and send her home in the end. Lashana goes home here, um, and Courtney has found out about the whole um kiss happening, but she's not. She's not. Uh, but Gwen told her, and she's not. And yeah. But now Duncan will join Team Chris, but that doesn't really matter for one episode. He's he's on Team Chris for one episode because then it's the merge for Niagara Brawls. And time for the merge and Blaine Lee's debut in the competition. That's what this one is all. Now Duncan is on bad terms with just about everyone at this point in time. A lot of people aren't too f happy with him, but luckily he wins immunity along with Courtney. The votes go the same way as the original, and Owen gets voted out because Alejandro is targeting him. Chinese fake out. out now, who is winning the gross food eating challenge with Sierra gone? I'm gonna stick to what I've said in the past and say that Gwen will win this challenge because she has done gross food challenges more than anybody else at this point in time. Um, Courtney still doesn't make it there. She she doesn't make it, and she doesn't even compete, so she would win, but she doesn't make it. Um, but Gwen is is shown to be fine with it. She, she competed in Brunch of Disgustingness. She competed in the Prison Challenge in Action. I forget what that one's called, but I think she wins this one. And then when it comes to the vote, there will be a double elimination. One person being Blainly because, well, everybody's sick of Blainly at this point and she was cheating. And then the second one is Duncan because a lot of people just aren't too fond of him right now. He's he's kind of, he's kind of been, a, he's kind of ruffled some feathers in this and that kind of, 
and he's and he's coming back to bite him in the butt as he gets eliminated. African Lying Safari, Alejandro once again win the challenge and outsmart everybody. Now they need to choose between getting rid of Courtney or Gwen here. Courtney and Gwen aren't working together, but they are better on better terms than they were in the original. I believe that they will choose to send Courtney home because she is more conniving than Gwen. I feel like that's that's what makes sense to me. Ah, Drumheller. Now Gwen will win the immunity like a, like um Sierra did. I I think that she can probably win. There's a whole song and song to and rock to screw over Heather and Alejandro here, so I think Gwen can get the job done, and she's not gonna blow up the goddamn plane. <laughs> and that allows for Heather and Cody and Gwen to vote out Alejandro here, and that's where we are at. Final three, Gwen, Cody, and Heather, and... Sorry to say to all you Cody fans who, who really wish that it was Cody in the finale against Heather. He he get, he gets eliminated here. He, he with Sierra not being here at all, he is not making it. He is not beating anybody here. He's just not going to do it. But in the end, I think that Gwen and Heather come out on top as the final two here. And I hope you guys enjoyed. That's what it my version of what if Harold didn't quit in Total Drama World Tour. I, th I think it's a pretty interesting season. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time for the next What If Total Drama video. Bye!